How to delete all the items in a collection. That's what we're going to see in this video, particularly using loops. What are the prerequisites before starting the application? First, you will need to connect to a Firebase project. If you don't know how to do this, there are plenty of tutorials that explain how to do it. Once you've connected your Firebase project, you'll need to create a collection. I'm creating a user collection here. In a classic way, we will start from scratch and just put a variable in this collection, which is the variable name that will be a string. I confirm, so of course, you can put whatever you want here. It's just for the example. Then we will return to our app and we will be able to start. So we will create a column. We will simply display different elements from our collection. That's what it will allow. We will stretch. We will create a small container like this. We will set it to 20, a bit of border radius. We will make it blue and inside the container we will put our text which will be the name in white so we can see it. And there in the column to display the names from our collection create a query, query collection user list of documents. That's important. No filter and no particular order here. We will add a little padding. To space the elements a bit. And here it will be at the level of our user document. It will be the name. So, we've displayed the elements of our collection. Now we're going to create the buttons. We'll create two buttons, one that will allow us to create a user, where I'll set a default name, and another button, which is the subject of this video, that will allow us to delete everything. So let's go. We're going to add a button to our column. This button will be moved down a bit and we'll place it in a line. We'll remove the padding there. This will be the user creation button. and this will be the button to delete all users. So, we'll move this down a bit to see what we're doing. Likewise, We'll move this down a bit. Now, for the actions regarding the buttons, this first button will be very simple. We'll add an action to create a document in the collection. Anyway, there's only one collection, user, and we won't complicate things. We'll name it Hijack. So every time I click this button, a user named Jack will be created. So that's pretty simple. Now, how do we delete all users? We'll go to add an action. Here, I might take a bit more time. 
we'll do add loop and what's very important to understand here is that our condition is a while loop so maybe some of you have done Python we can have for loops but this is not a for loop at all it's really a while loop which means that all the actions here will be executed as long as the condition right here is not met so here we will need two things we'll need a page state that we will create now local page state which we will call users and it will be an integer initialized to zero we'll probably use uppercase letters and there we go the simplest way is actually to put it on the page to add our query so that it can count the number of users we have here make sure to put the list of documents to have the name and there, normally, I should be able to do my loop peacefully. So, single condition, first value, as long as our patch state user is not equal to user document number of items. There you go, that's our condition. Now what do we want to do each time with each increment? We're going to want to delete the user document item at index, specific index, and it's very important to specify at the index of our page state our page state user get document property the reference of the user we're deleting and finally to wrap up we need to increment our page state meaning we add one each time in the loop we increment it by one all right last thing for it to work correctly and to avoid conflicts so we can do it multiple times in a row for the delete all we will simply reset the page state variable to zero before starting our loop And now, normally we're good, we can launch the application and see what it does. So here we are on the application. And obviously, since we have no users, by the way, I'll show you here by clicking on manage content. Since we have no users, nothing is displayed. However, if we click on create user, there we go, with each click, a user will be added. And when I press delete all, there you go, all the users, all the elements of my collection will be deleted. As you can see, I have all my elements in my collection. And with one click, there you go, I have nothing left. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was informative for you. Feel free to suggest in the comments other tutorial videos that I could make to help you. Good day or evening.